Education Minister Jerome Fitzgerald claims not everyone on that Black Friday march of last week had a concern with the government. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keisha Adderley, and welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the National Report. Topping the news tonight, Minister Fitzgerald says the last four and a half years of the Christie administration has placed priority on consultation, face-to-face -face interaction, and social media. But he says most of the time it's drowned out by what he calls the louder minority with a political agenda. He referred to the National Development Plan, the Shared Vision of Education 2030, the National Energy Plan and the National Youth Policy as initiatives which should not be perceived as PLP ones but have incorporated a collaboration of a wide cross-section of stakeholders. As much as I was proud to acknowledge that this peaceful march was really reflective of a strong democracy at work, I was disappointed that after our Prime Minister took the time to write a thoughtful and detailed response within two days to the organizers outlining how many of their concerns have either been addressed or are being addressed and inviting them to meet with him to discuss how we can work together on the issues raised. His invitation unfortunately was flatly and disrespectfully rejected. In doing so, the organizers in a fit of hubris have squandered an opportunity many of those who marched and supported them wished they would have seized instead of issuing threats to hold the country hostage. Carroll says the organizers extended an invitation to the government to attend the march, but he said them showing up was criticized as event hacking, with many on the march turning their backs on the ministers. Fitzgerald says his mission for the past nine and a half years has been advocating for modern change. And want to assure all Bahamians that we in government are working hard to enact the change you want to see in the country. I encourage Bahamians to continue to share their opinions. Don't lose the passion you have for this great country. And above all, don't let politics and those with a political agenda blind you.